Andy, uh, a sole goal from Josh Pasley was uh, the reason for today's victory, a 1-0 win against AFC Fold. What was your reflection? I, 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 well, crazily enough, I thought it was the best 45 minutes we've had all season, first half. I thought we played some lovely stuff. Um, we just couldn't get that breakthrough. And, and, and look, we've got to give them a bit of respect. They, they put some bodies on the line and, and defended well and the keeper made saves. Um, so, you know, that was, that was the breakthrough we needed when Josh got that goal. Um, and then at 1-0, it's always a bit tricky, you know, everyone gets a bit nervous. Do we go for the second and leave ourselves to the counter? Or, or we, do we sort of just be, try to be a bit more solid? Um, and uh, look, we, we saw it out and it's another three points at home here at, uh, at Hayes Lane. And what do you say to players in, in those instances? You know, you could be 3 4 nil up, but you're not. It's nil nil at half-time. Yeah, I mean, it was an easy message for the guys at half-time, really. I mean, look, just make sure you keep doing what you're doing. You know, you, we, we, I thought we played some really good stuff and make sure we keep the intensity of what we're doing. And we knew that they'd try to slow it down in the second half even more. Um, uh, but we didn't quite get to groups with it in the second half as much. But, but look, we got the goal and that, that's the important thing. I think um, I say it all the time, a clean sheet is what I'm really buzzing about. Just going to say that no goal in the first half, despite the performance. Started the second half a bit slower, but then came the goal just as Fold were starting to show shoots of getting into the game. Yeah, look, they're a good team. I mean, they've beat uh, I think Oldham away from home three 0 They beat Gateshead away from home four 0 So you're never sure what's going to turn up. Um, and I say that about every team in this league. Everyone can beat everyone. So we've got to make sure we just keep solid, keep patient, keep sort of taking care of our business, and, and making sure that we keep creating chances and that, that was what I was really most pleased about today we created a lot of chances and uh, you made a few changes today James Vennings with his first start in a while what did you make of his performance? I thought James was excellent he's been a real proper pro to be honest I, I must have my hat to James he's, um, he's found himself not in a team just because of the way we, you know, the shape of the team and how it's set up uh, he hasn't sulked he's trained properly every day he's been probably the best character in the group despite not playing and a, a real example to any young pro uh, and I thought he was excellent today. I really, I really felt him and Lewis Lee kept us ticking nicely in there with Corey in front. Throughout his career, Josh Pasley hasn't been known for his goals, mainly for his assists. You've brought him in and he's done both for you so far. What's your thoughts on him so far? Yeah, well, I always, I always sort of had a bit of a bugbearer with that position where we, we needed more assists and more goals. Uh, and he's proven, you know, both of those boxes have ticked with Josh. Um, so, yeah, really tough for Josh. I, I keep encouraging him to get in on the back post when the ball's the other side and he'll get goals. Um, but that was a really good finish. I was really chuffed with the way he put that away. So, um, you know, that, that's nice. We're getting goals from other positions, which is which is what we need to do. And the finish was one thing, but a great assist also from Corey Whiteley. Yeah, look, we know what Corey's about. He works his socks off, doesn't he, every game. I mean, he, he, he's, he's, he's always out there. He's a 9 out of 10 every game, works hard. And, um, you know, I, I think, you know, he's, he's probably my lowest main, maintenance player at the club. Um, but we've got a group of players, you know, I keep saying it, a real, you see them every day, a real honest, hard-working group of players that, that, you know, will give everything every game and take on every bit of information and they work tirelessly and relentlessly all week. Um, so fair play to them. The temperatures are dropping, but the crowds are on the rise. Over 2,500 here today and a great showing of support again. Yeah, fantastic, that is. I mean, I just spoke to the radio up there. I think, you know, we've really become a part of the community, not just myself and the players, but everyone that works at the club. And I think we're reaping the rewards of that. I think we're churning out a brand of football that's entertaining. Um, it helps when you're winning, of course. Um, but look, the facilities down here and, and, and everything else is, and the work we all do in the community is, is hopefully giving the people of Bromley something to cheer about and something to come and watch, which, uh, which is obviously proven in the numbers. And three points today. Not too much time to enjoy it as we welcome Aldershot Town here on Tuesday. Uh, that's going to be a tough game. We know what they're about, Aldershot. You know, they're, they're a good team with a, a manager that's, um, uh, you know, very relentless in what he does. So, um, yeah, that'd be a tough game, but we're, we're, we're going to worry about that sort of tomorrow. Just enjoy tonight at the moment. Andy, thanks for your time. Thank you.